Ferdinand was the principal of Innova DC from 2005 to 2009. I started the junior college as a principal. In the Woodlands area, uh, there wasn't any JC. On paper, when we were developing the uh, junior college, uh, it was given a very uh, unexciting temporary name called Woodlands JC. The name Innova JC came about because we needed to have a metaphor for a new uh, JC. Nova uh, represents the aspiration of a new JC to reach for the sky. Even before the JC started, I was already working with this group of um, eight teachers, I remember. For a start, uh, we were given the autonomy to to basically choose uh, the school uniform, the colour of the uniform. Then the immediate um, uh, thing that needed to do was just to organise the orientation uh, for the students. So the teachers were very active in uh, designing the orientation uh, activity. We were, we were behind the formation and the, the idea of the four houses. Initially we thought it was going to Die, die a natural death, <laughs> but it grew. What made this happen would be the dedication of uh, the teachers in charge and also the kind of student leaders that uh, we have groomed. When we don't have a history, a lot of it is talking about what is our aspiration and the assurance to them that the college uh, will not shortchange them and also encouraging the students that they are the ones who make history. We have uh, many teachers with uh, uh, a variety of interests and they wanted to start uh, very interesting CCAs. We were the pioneering batch of touch rugby players so that was, that was super fun. We knew very little about it and yet somehow we ended up in a competition. Our referee was just yelling at us and saying that why are, why are you all doing this? Do you even understand what's going on? We're like, uh, no, we, we don't really know. And she's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to be a coach. Uh, I was actually in the current Makers Academy, which is formerly known as New Media Arts. So this is actually the school's uh, niche CCA. So initially when I first came in, it was the media kind of CCA. So they did things like uh, photography, filming, interviews, broadcasts and animation. But over time it has evolved to be more tech, tech focused, things like Arduino, app development, etc. But we still retain the photography and film units. Uh, traditionally, this CCA has very strong alumni support in the sense that many of the alumni from the CCA often come back to contribute as well and also to share what they have been doing outside. Whatever is available, let's garner the resources and let's get going. And that's where the innovation, the excitement, the, um, the newness for forging into unknown areas, I think garnered everybody together. So I think it's a, 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 a journey in building our identity. What does Innova JC represent? Our culture was, was good in the sense that although we, we are fun-loving people, but then we also help each other in, the, in our study. It taught us to be um, to be confident, to be to work as a team, and I think these are qualities that are very important as you go ahead in life. Usually during during major events, uh, that you see the the house spirit, you know, uh, manifest itself. Wherever we were in, we're always in it together. I think we, we came together as a class, really to contribute resources, be it printing papers from other schools. One of the biggest takeaway, being a house captain and handling the academic side is actually time management which um, the teachers have helped me a lot. I will have extra curriculum lessons to actually brush on my academic side. The staff environment here is very friendly, very encouraging. When I first came in, I found that people were very willing to share their knowledge. There were a lot of guidance and supports given by my colleague. So like as a new teacher, so they helped me to ease my transition into work. It's never been about they are teachers and I'm a school counsellor and therefore we're different. So we've worked very well. We work hard together but we also have fun together. We dress up as characters of the musical. We dress up as superheroes. 
Uh, that's where we really let our hair down. Uh, for me, it's almost literally. Those are the moments that I really look forward to because then we don't see each other as in our role, counsellor and teacher, but as just colleagues. It's a culture that's very hard to replicate. All schools have to prepare students for a future, so it's important for schools like ours to anticipate what will happen next, if you like, or the world that our students will live in. We see that world as one which is increasingly technologically driven. I could exercise a lot of flexibility in the way I conducted lessons and the things I did. Jadi saya gunakan peranti ataupun platform ICT. Nova sendiri menyediakan wadah itu. The world is likely to be more volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And we've taken that into consideration when we envision the future. The school has prepared me with a lot of opportunities for me to learn and grow as an individual, but we live in a VUCA environment. Although we might be prepared, it's a journey of lifelong learning. That's what they teach us in Innova, the importance of a growth mindset. With this mindset in mind, I think I would be more uh, adequately prepared for the real world. Our response is to put in performance values amongst the school values that we have and the pair that we have is clarity and agility. This is a very new experience for me, even though I've planned orientation in my secondary school. But this time, is doing it with other partners, other schools, and we have to merge different identities and different colleges' beliefs, values together. And like, I get to meet a lot, a lot of new people because uh, our school is so small. But when you join two colleges together and work together, the people is times two, so it's very huge. I think that myself and the principals before me have been very fortunate to have caring and competent professionals under our charge. When I received my O-level results, then I have one senior, she was in Innova at that time, and I asked her, so what's the best thing about Innova? And she said it's the teacher, because they really care. The teachers really put in an effort. You know, when you come here for the orientation, it's wow. Actually, in secondary school, I was a student council. I was in student council also. And by the time, after two years of doing that, I was just like, ah, I'm done with this, so I'm going to quit doing this. I'm just going to focus on my studies, do well for my A-levels. And then I came to the orientation program, and 30 minutes in, I was sold. The teachers and, you know, the JC2 students, the effort they put in, they basically buy the student over. It was something I didn't intend to do, but it just happened. It just happened quite quickly. Yeah. So, I think they set the tone. It's basically on day one when I took over the Students' Council, they actually told me that uh, you know, they'll, they'll adopt a very hands-off approach, so they just let us run our own things, and they only step in when there's like safety issues or, or any potential concerns. Like. But a lot of what I've absorbed until now, and I still remember, is a lot of life lessons that they tried to impart on me. I hope that I had managed to share a heart of empathy, a heart for the community with my students. Some students which initially potentially might have given me a lot of problems. It was really nice to see how they blossomed into who they are today. I think the most satisfying thing about being a principal of Innova Junior College is when you find students, no matter what their starting point, really, really, really excelling. Not a single moment I regret my decision to join Innova. I dare to take risks, I dare to try and fail. And then if, if I fail, I'll just jump back up and then try something else. It's actually in line with uh, my career today. Whatever I did in the past was actually a projection of what I'll be doing in the future. Yeah, I met my wife here. One of the best decisions in my life thus far. I would say it's very enriching. Like it really gives us a lot of opportunity to learn. Treasure the time that you have right now. I think uh, what matters is our memories. Uh. Enjoy the whole process. I think you'll find more joy in it and you excel better. This year's a college, you've done well.